As we wait for more vaccines to get emergency use approval in the U.S., could one option be states buying their doses? Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bipor joins us now with why state officials say they've already been down that road before. A.J. We have consistently heard state health officials say supply is the problem. According to the CDC's data, Wisconsin's vaccine rollout has been slower than that in neighboring states. DHS leaders say it's because the federal data is behind by several days. They aren't sure why. On a DHS media briefing today, Governor Evers says Wisconsin will not be trying to buy its own vaccine doses outside of the weekly federal allotment. The governor says it would be a similar experience to what states encountered back in the spring with trying to get PPE, describing it as a free for all that ends especially poorly for states like Wisconsin. The idea that somehow we're going to compete against other states and actually be able to do it uh, when we're a relatively small state, about 2% of the U.S. population at best. So the, 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 the opportunity for us is not good. As for whether Wisconsin would try buying in bulk with other states through joint agreements, Evers says Wisconsin explored that with PPE and it did not work. The governor compares that type of environment to, quote, the Wild West. One other bit of news from today's call, DHS says it has canceled 12,000 doses meant for CVS and the program vaccinating people in assisted living centers. They say that's because CVS has gotten so swamped, those doses will now go to independent pharmacies and local health departments for those shots.